Hello, welcome to Exotic Galley UK, your Arch Quiz Weekly. And on this week's episode, we'll look at my germination disaster. So every year I like to grow lots of annual plants, obviously from seed, for a really good hit of tropical exuberance and colour in the garden that can sort of work well with the evergreen backdrop. And I rely on, obviously, a good compost and good growing conditions to allow the seeds to germinate well and then we pot them on, harden them off and get them out in the garden in May and June. Well, this year I've gone for a lot of the varieties that I normally go for. I've gone for the zinnias and the ricinus and the Spanish flag and many others, as well as some things that I've not tried before. So we've got some of the Aeonian species I've not tried before. We've also got an Oriopanax and some Impetians and lots of other bits and pieces that were new this year to me. And they're all being sown in the same compost. And I've gone peat free for the last two or three years on the whole. This year's totally peat free. And I've gone for, which I thought was like top of the range, Melkor, Silver Grow, uh, seed sowing compost with John Innins. And the idea behind this is it's like a fine grade compost, it's peat free, and it should be ideal for sowing lots of seeds. And that's what I've used. And as we'll see in a minute, the germination rates have not been very good. So let's have a look at how the seedlings are looking between one month to two and a half months uh, from sowing. So my Canna canariensis seeds have actually germinated pretty well. I've got some in several pots here and that's what they look like close up. So they're just getting onto the first proper leaves and all four pots have actually got seedlings in. So they've, they've done okay, although they are a bit slow. But if we come here to my Cleome, we can see there's none germinated at all in this tray. And in this tray, we've just got four along this edge. So that's really poor germination. Next, we've got the ricinus, and they've done okay. They've done what I expect them to do. So they've popped out. Got the juvenile leaves and the first adult leaves forming as well. A little bit drawn here because this isn't the sunniest spot on this side, to be fair but they're fine and they'll do well when planted out, I'm sure. And in these little cells and they will need some more nourishment, so we'll pot them up very, very soon. And then a couple of weeks, they'll go outside. Then we come to the Spanish flag of Pamir Labata. They've germinated pretty well, pretty consistently when they're on heat. Leaves are still a, a decent shade of green, so they've done okay. And we've got the papayas. They've germinated all five seeds germinated. One got eaten by a slug or a snail, and the other four are doing okay. But when it comes to the selaniums, they've well, nothing's happened. We've got three types should be in these little seed trays, and I'll take a closer look. And after a good old two months or so, we haven't got any germination whatsoever in the heated propagator. So that's uh, very disappointing on those. Here we've got some. Busy lizzies that my daughter sowed. Still on the first leaves, very, very slow, but actually good germination. There's lots of seedlings come up on these. And then we move to the impatiens or impatiens, and we've got three varieties and about five or six seeds of each one. And there are the varieties there. And unfortunately, we've not got any, any seeds showing yet. So hopefully something will appear in due course. And here we have the Tifonias, and they've germinated okay, not brilliantly. Uh, more than 50% though, about 60-70% germination. But the leaves are just not a great colour, so they're sort of palish green rather than a, a darker green. So that's a bit disappointing. I will pot these up, I think, into better compost, because obviously they're not liking this compost at all. And then we move on to the Aeoniums, which I've got loads of varieties sown from seed. And as you can see, or not see, as be the case, not one has germinated at all. And I've kept some in different conditions. I've had some just on the bench like this, with no additional heat, but it's not gone below 10 degrees. I've had some 
on a heat mat. Again, no germination on those. We've had some in the propagator for a time, non-germinated in there. And we've had some on the heating bench over there. And again, no non germinated down there. But I've just had a quick check on a couple of trays, a bit of a shady position actually, I've just put them down here. And I think I did see one, possibly two. If we look carefully, we can see there's one little seedling just appeared, literally. I wasn't there yesterday when I was going to make this video, but it's decided to show its face. We've got one there out of probably, I don't think there was hundreds of seeds, but there were lots of seeds. There was about 10, 15 varieties. That's the only seedling out of all those trays. So that's, uh, as you can imagine, very disappointing. Move on to Morning Glory. They've come up fine, no problem with them. Just very, very slow. They've been there for quite a while now. And they're just still on the, well, on to the first of adult leaves on those. And here we move on to zinnias. Germination rates are very high. I'd say about 90% on these. And they've done okay. I'll pot these up soon. Again, not the vibrant green leaves. But then we move on to these beans and look at these. They've really hated this, uh, this compost. I mean, the leaves are yellow and they've, you know, they've not been here too long, but they're the first leaves and then they've got the second leaves. But look on these pure yellow leaves are really, really unhealthy, unhappy seedlings. I don't know if I'll be able to rescue these. I will pot these up into something else and see if they can recover but they're not looking good at all. They're the Ruby Moon ornamental beans. And then we move on to the Cosmos and they just look terrible, don't they? Very scrawny little things. And these are in good light actually on this side of the greenhouse. It's not the lack of light, but they just don't like the compost. And then here we've got what my daughter sowed some Silenstoma coleus. Extremely slow anyway, but they've just gone yellowish with the hate in this compost. And here we've got some black eyed Susans again, about 40 50 percent germination rate, which is not great. And they're doing okay, but not brilliant. Here we have some more zinnias again, germination rates being high on these. They're the healthiest looking ones, these are looking less healthy, but not bad. And we've also got some other seedlings here, which have just come through and we'll see how they get on. And here we've got the Dendrocerus litalis and they've germinated well, all, I think six, seven seeds germinated, but they're just yellowy green, so not very happy. And we have got a couple of selenians just showing themselves in this part here. So not very good. And I've got my one seedling, I think there's only three seeds anyway. I've got one seedling there, hopefully it's of the right species. And this is Oropanax uh, niger. Could be a stray seedling from something else, but hopefully not. So that's one out of three, so not too bad, but we'll see how that goes on. So that's what all the seedlings look like as we start in May 2022. So why have they done so badly? Well, I could just blame the compost and I think pretty much it probably is a compost is a big factor to this, but it obviously as well, it could be other things. It could be not watering enough, given the right heat, given enough light and the seed themselves with the quality of the seeds good enough with the old seeds or the fresh seeds. That also um, could be a factor of why the germination rates have not been good. But as we've seen, the germination has happened for many of these plants, but then the actual leaves just don't look good. They look yellowish, especially in those beans, they look very ill indeed. So I think there's something else happening here. I think the compost itself, when I use it, it felt really good. It felt quite very friable, very fine with some bigger bits as well, but not too many bigger bits. So drainage is good, um, but it sort of, it felt lifeless in terms of it didn't feel like it had much goodness in it, which it doesn't because seed sown compost doesn't need too much goodness. 
but I don't think it had any goodness really in it because the ceilings have really struggled from the minute they've germinated. I did find it dry out really, really quickly, so I had to keep on top of watering, and in a lot of the cases, especially when they've been on heat, I had to water like every day just to keep on top of it. But like I said, I've had some on heat mats, some just in the greenhouse, and even those just in the greenhouse, they've dried out very quickly. I have kept on top of the water to make sure germination's okay. Um, and the seeds have just struggled from the moment they have germinated, to be honest. But it might not be the compost. It could be the seeds, like I said, have come from different places and some uh, seeds are just not done as good as others. And it's just disappointing. Obviously, you, you rely, or well, I rely on a lot of these plants to give that summer colour. And some of these seedlings probably won't be able to salvage. A lot will, and I'll put them in some beefier compost and give them some feed as well. And hopefully they'll green up and bulk up. I'm sure most will be fine. I have had some tomatoes in this compost. You can see, I know they should have been spread out, but these don't look great either, to be honest. But I have potted some of these up as well. And you can see on these, I have potted up into some other peat free compost. They've greened up nicely. And they've gone from that to that within like 10 days. So, you know, it could be the compost overall. So yeah, it's disappointing. Uh, I will persevere and we'll have a nice tropical display this year and I will find a better peat-free compost to use next year for my seed sowing. If you have had great success with a certain brand of compost this year or use something completely different to germinate your seeds and pot on, please let me know. Comment in the uh, comment section below. Let me know what you're using, what good things have happened we see this year, what disappointments have you had this year and we can sort of share ideas. Thank you for watching this edition of Exotic Ghana UK. Join me next week, we'll be doing more in the garden.